All right. Great to see everybody this morning or this afternoon. Um, thank you guys for making time. Again, we will, uh, we're, we're recording this. I just double checked, make sure it's actually recording and we'll post this to YouTube afterwards for folks who couldn't make it. Um, well, thanks everybody for making time. Um, let me go through our quick agenda here. Uh, and we want to make sure we leave time for a good discussion on a couple points. Um, as a reminder, this is our, what we call our monthly AMA. So we try to do these every month um, to welcome new members to the talent group, uh, talk about what we're working on, network wins, product roadmap, uh, upcoming events, things like that. And there's lots, lots of interesting stuff to cover this month in particular because we've got a couple new people and um, we're actually planning our uh, emergence from stealth this month. So this is the last AMA we'll do while being in stealth because uh, we're going to start some PR efforts. Um, and so we'll get to that later. Uh, so agenda today, we'll, we'll do a couple quick intros from the core team at Freelance Labs. Um, I want to spend a couple minutes kind of going back over our vision for Brain Trust, why we're building this. Um, just uh, kind of, it's worth repeating and, and, and also valuable for, for any new folks on the line. Uh, we'll give some updates around the network. Uh, we'll talk about uh, the product roadmap. We'll dig into uh, the PR efforts and then we'll uh, do some Q&A at the end. So I've got a bunch of your questions logged. If you think of questions during this conversation, just pop them into the chat on Zoom here and we'll get to them at the end. Um, so real quick, uh, my name's Adam. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Freelance Labs, which is the company that makes the Brain Trust marketplace. Um, my passion is really around building networks for people that align incentives better. I think that um, the way marketplaces and, and traditional agencies have been set up have been really extractionary and, and have been very bad at sort of giving credit and value where it's due to the talent. And so we, we're making brain trust to sort of invert that model. I'll get into that later. Um, also on the line with us is my co-founder, Gabe Luna Ostaseski. Gabe's uh, in transit right now, so he won't be on video. Um, also here is Mark Williams, our head of operations. Uh, Shirley Yang, our brand new head of community. Uh, and, and she'll be giving a little intro here briefly. Um, also on, I believe, is Corey Johnson, who is um, uh, joins us from Bloomberg and Ripple and a few other projects. Uh, when we get to the PR piece, I'll, I'll hand the mic over to Corey to, for him to talk a little bit more about our strategy there. And so that's the uh, that's the folks from the from the Brain Trust core team that will be participating in the discussion. So switching gears for a second, so. I, I think it's always worth spending a few few minutes on the vision of Brain Trust and why we're doing this. So we're we're building the world's first user-owned talent platform. Uh, our core belief is that user-owned networks and companies will grow faster and be more valuable to the participants than purely investor-owned networks and companies. And this new model can work on any category. We chose to start with a category that we know really well, which is mapping are connecting you know, really uh, experienced uh, technical and product development and design talent with largely you know, US Fortune 1000 companies that need them. That's a, a fairly narrow, but a really valuable and big category. Um, and so we're building this network because we believe our talent should be able to work on cool projects and keep 100% of their hourly rate and have the flexibility to work from anywhere on whatever they think is cool. And most importantly, say, have a say in how our network grows. Um, Brain Trust exists here to attract great clients and great projects to the platform. And, um, and we want our, you know, we're here to serve our users and we want our users to have a real, uh, like a real stake in how things go. Um, so you might be wondering like, okay, well, how do you get clients on the platform? Um, our client pitch is pretty straightforward. It's, um, it's not about, you know, it, it's, it's different from, from a lot of pitches you've heard. It's not about getting cheap people offshore to just do the same job, you know, more cheaply. That, that's not at all what we're about. Um, we're about finding the right skill and right experience that clients need to plug in 
uh, quickly. And, um, and these are often folks that are hard to hire and retain in the United States. So it's filling a real gap in the market. Um, we offer to clients the ability to plug in individuals, teams, or even entire agencies we have on the platform. It doesn't matter to us. Um, we have clients that are using us for staff augmentation. So plug in four or five engineers on an existing team right away. Um, or we have fully managed projects like what we're building for PwC and Blue Cross Blue Shield, where they need something soup to nuts. And then that, you know, the, co the composition of that team may change over time. So we do it all. Um, our business model is really unique. This is a question we get a lot. So, you know, our fees are really transparent. We believe strongly in transparency. Um, we want uh, folks on brain trust to charge and get their fair market rate. We don't believe in global arbitrage where, you know, you have a sales team in New York or California that charges a bunch. And then you go out to other countries where the cost basis is lower and you try to get people to work as cheap as possible. We just don't believe in that model. So we run a flat, transparent 10% fee, and that covers the costs of our network. Um, our goal is to create this global network that benefits everyone. And we're not here to extract as many fees as possible and be a fat cat in the middle, uh, like many other talent networks that you guys are familiar with and may even be doing work on. Um, and so, so we have this kind of core team here that, that works for a company called Freelance Labs. And this team, you know, it's myself and Gabe and Mark and Shirley and a few others. Um, our job here is to build the initial network for brain trust. Um, it's, it's to then recruit great people and build a system that allows all of us to curate the network in a peer to peer fashion. Uh, our job is also to bring great clients and projects onto the platform and then set up a system that allows the network to reward itself for growing and vetting itself. And so we'll get into to kind of tactics about how we're doing that and how we'll continue to do that. Um, so a big part of um, us all being successful here is making brain trust a, a, a trusted brand with clients and a bit, you know, we're off to a really good start doing that. A big part of that will be the PR effort um, that we're going to talk about later. So um, it's also worth noting all of the people that build brain trust on the product side are also freelancers and or agencies on the site. We have no internal technical people, no internal product or design people at Freelance Labs. Every single thing you see on, on Brain Trust is built by a member of Brain Trust. So I'll just rattle off a few examples. We have uh, Hex Ocean is our, our group in Poland, our core development group. Uh, Robot Koala in Berkeley, California did the, all the initial UX. Uh, we have Stas down in Z New Zealand with his team has done some great work. Bryce in Texas on UX, Aiden uh, in, in Europe, who's done a lot of the token work. Kelly, who's an amazing project manager up in Seattle. Uh, Edlin in Portugal, Chris and Magnus in the Netherlands, uh, Justina in Chicago and Justin in Los Angeles, new folks that are helping Shirley's efforts. The list goes on and on. Sorry if I, I, I know I missed a few people there, but you know, the point is like, this isn't a typical kind of Silicon Valley company where you have this big core team and, you know, all the important stuff gets done by those people. You know, this is really a network built by us for us. And the incentive mechanism that holds all that together is our token. Uh, the token's called B Trust, And this is still, this token is still under construction. It doesn't exist yet. You can earn credits that will be redeemable for this token. And a lot of us have already done that. Thank you for, for everyone who's done that already. Um, but this token is really what separates us from a normal agency. Um, it's, it's an incentive mechanism basically to reward our users for building the network. And building in this case doesn't, doesn't just mean programming and designing. It, it really means like inviting new people, inviting new clients, helping us vet these new talent. Um, and so we're, we're, we've slotted to give away the majority of these tokens to folks who, uh, who help us do this, referring new talent, referring new clients. Um, a lot of people have already done this. Several hundred people have already helped us here. And, uh, and you know, the token is not even live yet. So it's a great testament to uh, the kind of people we have on this network. And, um, and so, 
that's all done through the referral engine. As you know, the referral engine has sort of been in alpha mode here for a few months. We're, we're getting, it gets better every month and uh, there's a bunch of new upgrades coming to it actually, uh, we'll talk about later. So um, tokens are new. It's a new thing to most people. Um, most people have not touched a token before. Um, it's not, you know, it's pretty cutting edge stuff. So we're gonna do, we'll, we'll, in a future AMA, we'll do a deeper dive on it, but um, just know that, you know, right now you can, can, you can continue to refer people and help us build the network and earn credits that will eventually translate into these tokens. Okay, uh, moving on to our network update. Just wanna give you kind of a, a bird's eye view of what Brain Trust is looking like. Um, we've got several hundred uh, people on the approved talent list right now, uh, which is great. These are all senior, really high quality folks, many of whom are, are either working on brain trust itself or more likely working on client projects. Um, we always need more people though. So um, to keep an eye on the reward center, when, when we get a need for a new person, like recently we needed a bunch of Magento 2 engineers. We put up a reward for that, got some great referrals. Um, so that's how this thing works, right? Clients come in, if they need somebody who's not on the platform, we'll create a reward for that referral. And then you guys do your thing and, and get paid for it. Um, the team, the core team is still pretty small. It's, um, you know, we have this uh, sales time with three full-time individuals um, that is being led by Gabe, bringing on some great clients, some great brand names, Nestle, Deloitte, TaskRabbit, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, uh, PwC just came on, Porsche's coming on, uh, and lots more coming, including health insurance co companies and hospital systems and banks that all have really cool projects and are going to pay really great market rates. Um, with that, I want to turn it over to our latest full-time addition here, Shirley Yang. Um, Shirley, if you'd like to uh, give a quick hello and talk about what you'll be uh, working on here, and then we'll, we'll come back to you when we get to the PR piece as well. Sounds good. Um, hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. Um, a little background on myself. So I lived in a few different cities since we're such a global team. Um, San Francisco is where I'm from originally, and then New York, LA, Taipei, and now I live in Chicago. Um, my background has been product management and audience development. I've worked with some really great tech and media companies, including Audible, Amazon, and NBC. I love entrepreneurship. Um, that's why I built my own freelancer networks and brand networks, helping people connect to find jobs. It's a passion of mine. And I was introduced to Brain Trust and was totally impressed by this new unprecedented model. Um, potentially impacting so many people, millions of people worldwide. And that's why I thought, wow, what a great company to join. So I'm so fortunate and so happy to be part of the team and be working with you all um, in the beginning few months will be our PR effort that Adam talked about. Um, so you'll be hearing from me. I'd love to uh, work with you to tell your story as freelancers and your backgrounds, since you know, you're the core of who we are as owners as, of the platform. Um, if you have any questions or just want to chat with me, I'm on the Slack channel. Awesome. Thank you, Shirley. Great to have you on board. Okay, we're gonna switch gears over to the product roadmap. And I'd love for Mark Williams here, our head of operations and kind of product too, usually most days, <laughs> uh, helping me at least. Uh, Mark, if you could rattle through a couple of updates, uh, we have lots going on, and then we'll have a little uh, discussion at the end about where we, how we wanna transition this roadmap. Yeah, perfect, thanks a lot. Hello everyone, I'm Mark Williams, our head of operations. I've been in technology consulting up here in Seattle for the last 20 years, and for 100% of that time, prior to joining Brain Trust, I was billable on clients, and so I understand the great parts of this business and also the difficult parts of trying to find a new job, get through procurement, get the invoices paid on time, and so my job here is to make all of that as easy as possible for you. So. With that in mind, we have, uh, I want to give a quick update on what it has been recently delivered uh, on our product and what is upcoming. Uh, first of all, a, a quick ask of everyone, as I did at the beginning of la the last AMA, please complete your profiles. So 
We had a, a great meeting, part of our supplier review process with a, a multi-billion dollar company yesterday. And halfway through that review, they stopped it and said, can you run our supplier network of all of our other third parties because your platform looks great and your profiles look great. So that really helps us stand out when we're meeting with people, being able to show them a, a complete profile that shows all of your skills, all of your work experience and all of your work samples if applicable to your job. So thank you to those of you who have created such beautiful profiles. And uh, if you haven't got around to getting all of the sections, it just takes a couple minutes. So we really appreciate having those fully complete. So when we show them to clients, they, they see your, your best foot is forward. Uh, the first thing I'll talk about, the bid feedback has been delivered to production. So you guys can't see this, it's on the employer side, but the idea behind this is employers can quickly say who they are screening and who they uh, won't be taking a look at for whatever reason. And the idea is here so we can give you a better status of where jobs are. So I know right now it's a little bit difficult to see where you are in the process if you, if you submit your bid or proposal to a job, we want to get you that information quickly on, on where you are in the process so you can either plan for screening and uh, brush up on the company or uh, know that it's not going to work out and you can move on to the next job. Something that is under development right now is multiple contacts for employer accounts. This may not sound that exciting to you, but one of our goals is to get uh, people on the accounts payable departments under these particularly large enterprise customers uh, to get on the platform to speed up invoicing. So right now there's kind of a disconnect. Some people who are, are buying the work don't really care as much about the invoicing and they wanna pass that off because they're just not interested in it. And it slows, slows down getting those things paid. So I am sorry to some of you who have experienced this. It is our goal to get these, uh, make it as easy as possible for people to pay on platform and to pay quickly. So that's under development now. Uh, something that has been developed and is under test and will launch soon is improved messaging between you guys and employers. So right now it kind of sends emails back and forth and you may not be sure who sent the email if, if the employer has shared their credentials. So we're going to improve that messaging. And also very exciting, the new talent profiles. So as I made that pitch to have everyone please complete them, one of the reasons is we have a great new design coming that helps uh, clients more quickly see all of your skills and focus areas right up top so they can make a decision uh, more quickly. And also the, the good news there is there's no action required from you. It will just automatically port over uh, once, but they do have to be complete or they won't look great. So thank you again for completing those. Uh, next up is the, the Brain Trust Network Expert. We talked a little bit about this last time. This is a, a way for you to stand out in, in the crowd uh, after you have gone through uh, a little bit uh, more complex vetting process. You'll get a badge on your profile, help you stand out when you submit a proposal to an employer, and you'll also be able to earn tokens by helping us screen new people and add more experts. So back to our mantra of having the, the network build this thing and have you have ownership of it, this is a great way for you to do that. Uh, another thing upcoming is scheduling on platform just to help with the screening process. You'll be able to hopefully get the uh, screening set up uh, more quickly and easier without the, all the emails back and forth with the employers. And then one of the uh, pieces of feedback we received, I think it was Patrick who brought it up originally, thank you Patrick, was changing the language of bidding to proposals. So right now we have a competitive bidding process for the jobs. Uh, we, we always plan to have that. It's very important uh, for our clients to see that transparency. And it's also, they have uh, rules that they need to follow that. They have to have a competitive bidding process for many of their projects. So it gets us over that hurdle. And, uh, but I think proposal probably makes more sense for, for that. So we're gonna be changing that language on, on the platform. And then Adam talked a little bit about the referral engine tuning. So just making sure we have the, the best referral engine we can with getting getting tokens and making that a little bit more uh, automated so it uh, can ramp up and down when we have roles that we know we're going to need a lot more of. 
And finally, uh, this will be kind of a discussion or something for you to think about and give me uh, ideas on. We want to manage this product backlog more publicly so everyone has a say in what is most important to them. Eventually, it's going to be completely decided by everyone who, who has tokens on the network. They'll be able to vote on what we want to build next. Right now, we're running this in Asana. It's, it's private just between us and our, our development team that we prioritize each week. And we want to open this up to all of you to give us some feedback. So do you have any ideas you want to throw out right now or just think about this and hit me up later? Thank you, Mark. Got it. Um, yeah, so this is this is an important milestone in building a, a decentralized marketplace and network. Um, you know, the, the, the core team's job, while it's still a centrally controlled system as it is today, is to build the best feature set we can and to, you know, sort of anticipate the, the market's needs. And, uh, you know, I think we've done a reasonably good job of that. And, you know, Mark just rattled through like six or seven big initiatives we're continuing to push on. At some point, um, you know, the, the network is really decentralized and it's, you know, it's, it's owned and controlled by, you know, folks on this call, folks who make, make their living on brain trust. And so it needs to be, uh, the future of the platform needs to be decided by those people as well. So um, we'll be looking into options around having, you know, a, a public, a, a public backlog, but also a voting system. So, and it's basically gonna be one token, one vote. So the more tokens you have, the more influence you'll have over the roadmap. Um, so we're working on a couple ideas there. If, if you have ideas around how you'd like to see that work, or um, if you wanna be involved in any of it, you know, just shoot me an email, adam at usebraintrust.com, and we'd love to have you involved. All right, switching gears over to PR. So uh, we've been working here in stealth since October of 2018 on this thing. And um, it is now finally start uh, time to start coming out of stealth. And so let me back up a second, just talk about, you know, why this is an important effort for us. So again, our job here is the folks who, who build and, and run and grow brain trust is to attract very high quality talent and then great clients and projects and sort of in that order. Uh, and so we've done the first one in spades. We have, I think, some of the best talent in the world on this network. And um, we've already delighted dozens of clients and have done great work. And so to scale that up, um, you know, we bring more talent, more clients, more talent, more clients. You keep building both sides. Um, a great way to, to get, so the, the talent side really grows word of mouth. I mean, most of this has been our own networks or like maybe I bugged you on LinkedIn and that's how you know about us. Um, or, you know, you heard about us for the referral. Several, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people here came in through referral. Um, on the client side, we, we have the sales team, we have the referral engine, but PR actually is really effective. If you can tell a story in a public venue about how using brain trust is a better way to get software initiatives built, uh, you can drive the, the, the pipeline for, for new clients much more effectively that way. And, you know, this isn't just marketing speak. It, it, brain trust really is better for a bunch of reasons. One, um, we have all this amazing talent on here who's earning their top market rate because they're not paying some giant fee to uh, an Upwork or a TopTal or somebody like that. You know, we, we, we don't get in the way there. So they're all right. They're automatically getting better talent and their money's going further. And they're, and we're also very transparent about who's on the network. You can see all these profiles up front. We don't create a walled garden around the talent pool like most agencies do. So it's a much better experience for the client side. So our job now is to just go out there and tell this story and to raise awareness about it. So our PR effort is going to, it's going to start in March and it, it's going to go on for a long time. And it, I basically kind of describe it with in two tracks. Um, there's what we call kind of air cover. And so this is telling our story to 
kind of, you know, top tier media outlets, you know, the Forbes and Fortune and the Journal and um, many other, uh, you know, Wired and, you know, sort of business press where our clients are and they're going to they're going to hear about us. Um, and so we've hired a PR firm to help there. Corey Johnson, who's on the line, is, is you know, a, a legendarily known uh, financial and markets uh, press person, thought leader. Um, and then the second piece of the effort is what we call groundswell. And this we kind of borrow from from like political campaigns and things like that. It's really it's not it's not rocket science. It's what you it's just you, you get your the people who use the network, you get them to talk about it, too. So we'll have our clients talking about us. We'll have some of our investors and advisors talking about us. But most importantly, we need our talent to talk about us. And so that campaign is being led by Shirley. Um, and, and in one second, I'll, I'll hand it over to her and to talk a little bit more about it. But, but basically, you know, if, if, if you can do both of these, you know, air cover and groundswell, if you can do them well in conjunction, they make the, one makes the other more effective, right? So the more folks we have sort of organically talking about, you know, we love what brain trust stands for and we love being an early member of brain trust. And, you know, we, we, we think this is the right thing. Um, the more that that happens on social media and blogs and that kind of thing, the more interesting of a story this is to the top tier outlets and vice versa, right? The more top tier pieces we get, the more clients will attract and the more talent will want to join. So it's all kind of a nice virtuous cycle. Um, and so let me, let me hand it over to Shirley here just to, just to say a couple things about the efforts she, she's leading. Like we're just starting this now. Yes, um, and just to echo what Adam said, uh, having our talents talk about us is the most authentic, right? Because we don't want to self-promote too much because if you do that, it's just selling. And who better, you know, to talk about the network than the owners of the network? And so, um, you know, I'm going to be talking to you through newsletters. You're going to be hearing from me about what those campaigns will be about. Um, I would love your participation or even contribution on ideas. But, you know, a few examples will probably ask you to share your profiles, um, you know, their public profiles. And I think this is a win-win because potential employers can see you on there and hire you off of brain, um, um, brain trust because they saw your profile either on Twitter or LinkedIn that you shared. Um, I think nowadays a lot of it is discovery, search and discovery, and people are discovering talent, new ways of work through social. So I wanna say LinkedIn, Twitter are the most important outlets for us. Um, so, you know, that's, that's one out, that's one outreach I would be doing. A few other ones would just be, you know, telling your story, what you do, and just really making you the highlight because you really are for, um, for brain trust. And, you know, again, if you have any other suggestions or ideas, feel free to slack me. My email is Shirley at usebraintrust.com, but just, um, just be prepared. I'll be sending you newsletters on um, our efforts coming up. Thanks, Shirley. Um, so this is an exciting thing. Of, of course, um, you know, helping, helping us talk about the network and raise our profile and do things to attract clients. Those are all really valuable things that we'll be giving lots and lots of tokens away for. Um, you know, again, token represents ownership and influence over the network. And, you know, the more folks, even if, if you help a little bit, like send one or two tweets or do one nice post on LinkedIn, like those are all valuable things to us. And we want to make sure to reward everyone who does that. So we're, uh, Shirley's currently kind of building the mechanics uh, that will help track all of that stuff. Um, but if you have ideas or you're excited to dig in or any, or, or, or just like want to write something uh, about, you know, your, your enthusiasm for the model, you know, just ping Shirley or I, and we'll all get you involved quickly. So thanks in advance to everybody for helping there. This is, th we're going to kick this off in March. It's going to start small and get bigger and bigger and bigger every month. And um, this will be, you know, a big part of what brings more clients and, and more great business to the platform. Um, I want to kick, I don't know if Corey Johnson is on. Corey is a, um, 
Corey, if you're there, do you want you want to talk a little bit about maybe the 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 air cover strategy and sort of what what's drawn you to this project, that kind of thing? And Corey, I think you're on mute. And on a there we nice go. Maybe you can hear me now. Sorry about that. Yeah, hey, there we go. We can hear you. That's better. There we go. So, uh, I'm Corey. I've got a have been with working on Brain Trust now for the last few months. Um, I think, you know, as far as the groundswell versus air cover, you know, for the journalists, and I was a journalist for a long time uh, at CNBC and Bloomberg and other places, um, you want to you attach your time working on stories about things that are real. You hear about something new, whether how real it is, because lots of PR people at you and, and uh, make you aware of things that might not matter. So as the journalists start to see brain trust tweets and see brain trust on LinkedIn, when that pitch comes in from our PR team, they're going to be, oh, that's the brain. Yeah, I've been seeing that thing. Let me dig into this. So the idea is to really give them a sense of something that's got a real uh, a reality about it. That, you know, uh, I, I loved earlier when Adam talked about not few people have touched a token. Well, no one's ever touched a token. They're digital, right? But, you know, we live Imagine what the time when the NASDAQ said, we're going to have a stock exchange, but there'll be no exchange. No one has to go anywhere. Or eBay said, we're going to have a global marketplace of stuff. There's just no marketplace. Or Amazon said, we're going to have the biggest retailer in the world. Any places you can go buy stuff. But that's what we're building here is, 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 you know, a great giant talent network that doesn't have a building where everyone goes to work or a single employer who, who writes the checks and administers the HR policy and sweeps the floor. But that's really hard for journalists to imagine because it's new. And it's just as groundbreaking, but the groundswell is going to be such an important part of this because it's really going to validate the story journalists hear as they get the pitch from the PR people, as Adam and Gabe and Shirley and I reach out to them individually and say, hey, guys, you've really got to pay attention. This thing is big. Uh, it validates the idea before it comes before them. So I encourage you to follow Shirley's lead and, uh, and, and get your profiles out there and get the name of Brain Trust out there because this thing is going to be giant. We want to bring the best employers. We want to bring only the best people uh, and talent to the network. So this stays really high level. So the billing is going to be at a very advanced level, and, uh, and we're in good shape to do that. So we're looking forward to this thing uh, coming out of stealth and everyone seeing what a great big thing this is that, that we have been building here quietly for quite a while now. Awesome. Thanks so much, Corey. Stay safe out there, man. Look both ways before you cross the street. <laughs> It's a dangerous world out there. Um, all right. Well, we got through lots of good stuff here. I wanted, I, I love closing out with, um, with questions. So I pulled a few questions off of our form. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to recycle a couple of questions we got last time that, that I thought were really uh, smart questions and important points. And then as I'm talking, if you think of anything new, pop it into the chat box, we'll get to it. Uh, if you'd rather speak offline, shoot me an email. Um, I'm always happy to jump on video calls with you guys. Um, it's one of my most fun parts of my job. Uh, and so our first question uh, is from David. It's, it's what is the vetting process like for freelancers and agencies? Um, so this one, obviously an important one. In the early days, it was you know just our network came on and then we asked our network to invite you know one or two of their favorite people. And so a lot of it was just like, hey, we know this person's good. We've worked with them before. And then it's migrating into this, you know, more of a formal process, which actually uh, Chris and Magnus are building called the Brain Trust Certified Network Expert feature, where it's, it's actually coding tests and design UX tests and things like that. Um, and so, and folks that help us vet, you know, will be paid in tokens for their time. Um, and so that process you'll see kind of slowly rolling online over the next, you know, couple months. Uh, another good question, how are jobs automatically sent to me? Um, this is really an important point. We matched jobs primarily or initially based on skills. So if you come in and say, you know, you're level four, level five Python engineer, you're going to get matched to Python jobs. Um, same for any other skill. So it's important that you have selected all the skills you want to be matched for in your profile. Otherwise, you may be missing out. 
Um, so that's number one. Number two is we post things to the Slack room. And so Mark does a great job of that. Um, so keep an eye there when new stuff comes up. Not, and it's worth saying, not every single job gets posted to Slack. If there's a job um, where a client comes on and they kind of already know the team they want to work with, we may skip that process. So there's, so people aren't, you know, submitting proposals for jobs that there's no chance they're going to get. Uh, we try to keep things fair uh, on, on that side. Um, this, uh, a question around the token from Chris, who, who gives out these tokens and when, who's in charge of governance? Uh, is it a fixed supply or does it inflate? These are great questions. Uh, it's a fixed supply of tokens. So there will never be any more tokens than there are today. It's gonna, the supply is gonna fix it 250 million. Um, who's in charge of governance? Whoever has a token. And so in the early days, that's us. Um, as we scale up here, it's all of you. Uh, and then who gives them out and when? Uh, again, they're given out for anything you do to help us build the network. So, um, at, you know, getting new talent to join, helping screen those new talent, uh, help participating in our social media campaign with Shirley, um, referring new clients, uh, being a reference for somebody, like all of those little things really add up. Um, Let's see, can we get feedback about submitted bids? That, that part um, Mark touched on, we are, we've shipped part of that and we'll continue to iterate there. Um, other, uh, other feature requests, um, could, do we have an availability feature that says like, hey, I'm generally available full-time or part-time? That is actually part of the new talent redesign that's coming out. It's in, uh, it's in kind of a UAT phase right now. We're making some tweaks to it, but you will see that pretty soon. Um, do you guarantee payment for clients? Uh, the answer here is yes. Uh, we actually have insurance uh, set up. So if a client does not pay, um, we will make good on that for you. Um, so that's a really important point there. Um, and then let's see, how do we, another question from Matt, how do we handle AB5? AB5 for people who don't know is a uh, recent law that passed in the state of California is really designed to prevent these rideshare companies from, you know, using contractors that really should be employees. Um, it doesn't apply it as much to what Brain Trust does because Brain Trust, um, on the our supply side, are are typically freelancers that work on multiple clients. Not everybody's on Brain Trust. Um, they're typically their own businesses. And so the law really wasn't designed for that as much. Um, but it's something that, you know, we, we obviously have regulatory counsel here in California. We take all those regulations very seriously. So it's something we're looking into. Um, last question is a good one we get once in a while. How does agency billing work? So a lot of you on the call are um, owners of, of smaller agencies. You know, maybe you have five or 10 folks. Um, and so we love having you guys on. Um, there's lots of work on, on here for teams, especially well-established teams that work well together and, and have you know, good work history, good reputation, good track record. Um, so we try to make, make the platform work well for you. Uh, the agency billing is really simple. You know, say you're the agency owner, you can bid work, you get the job, and then you can submit the invoice just like you would if franchise weren't involved. Uh, and and the, then you can pay your folks offline from there. You don't need Brain Trust to be in the middle of how you pay your own people. That's just not not a necessary step. Um, all right. Anything else here that you guys can think of while we have each other all together? Um, I think I got through all the questions. All oh, right. I just got one from Tomas. What does earn 1% of the value you refer really mean? Will I earn 1% of the income earned by talent I refer or does it apply just to clients? Great question, thank you for asking this. Um, it actually applies to either. So let me, let me walk through how this works. Let's say Tomas, you invite um, a new talent named Mark and uh, Mark gets through the screening process and then starts a job where he's, you know, billing a client $5,000 a month, you will get, and that got to happen on the platform so we can verify it. Um, you'll get 1% of what Mark bills basically 
you know, forever. It's not forever, forever. It's you know, subject to terms, but it's for quite a while. Um, and, and that 1% will be paid to you in the token. And so um, that's kind of an ongoing thing. It's a great way to earn this like nice residual tail. Uh, and it applies to talent and clients. So if you refer IBM and IBM does $10 million on brain trust next year, we will give you 1% of that in tokens as a reward for, for making that referral needs to be all tracked on the platform, but that's all set up and that's how it works today. Um, this is meant to give people, you know, an outsized reward for making valuable referrals instead of just like a Starbucks card or a hundred dollar Amazon card or something like that. Um, those percentages will change over time. Uh, I think some will go up, some will go down. We've, we've done a few 2% ones before. We're still trying to figure out, you know, what the sweet spot is there, but, um, that's what that means. Thanks for the question. Any other questions here while I've got everybody? I have to say um, the referral engine piece of this is, is one of the more exciting aspects. We've, we've already had hundreds of people refer talent. Um, people who weren't even weren't already approved on the network yet, which is, you know, it's a great sign. And, and many of those folks have been added. Uh, and we've got a, a handful of people out there sort of as kind of outside sales engineers that are referring um, clients as well, uh, people who don't work for us. And so, um, and that's been really encouraging to see. I mean, this token doesn't even exist yet. Uh, it will. <laughs> we're, we're, you know, very, taking this very seriously. You know, we're, we're, we have very serious development efforts to have this thing live uh, later this year. Um, but this is a great sign early on that uh, that folks really see the vision of this model and are are being awesome contributors. I'm, I'm just so impressed with the quality of people on this network so far. Um, all right, guys. Well, it was really great to see everybody here. Um, I know a lot of folks couldn't make it, so we're going to post this to YouTube. As always, our doors open here uh, at Brain Trust at Freelance Labs. If there's anything you want to talk about, hit us on Slack or email. Again, I'm Adam at usedbraintrust.com. Um, we're always here. We always love to hear from you. And, uh, and you'll hear from Shirley and myself here as we start to, to execute the Groundswell strategy. Thank you again for your help there. And uh, see you next month. Thanks, everybody.